Who would be your um, hero? I mean, growing up in Arizona, are you old enough to remember Randy Johnson? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I've watched a lot of Randy Johnson's, Johnson's films and studied his mechanics quite a bit. Um, but I'd say probably my hero would be Derek Jeter growing up. Um, my whole family, mom and dad's side, are both from New York. Um, so they grew up Yankees fans, and so it was just kind of brought upon me to be a Yankees fan growing up. And so uh, I loved watching Derek Jeter play and paying attention to his stuff on and off the field just because he's such a good person, too. Obviously, there's a great advantage to being 6'7 six, or 6'6? Six, 6'6. Six? Six, six. Six, six and lefty. But the negative side is more things can go wrong with your mechanics. Mm -hmm. You've got to be fanatical about that and be perfect, correct? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty uh, studious and like watching videos and stuff like that and studying guys throwing and um, I'm very routine oriented as far as like my mechanics go and I feel like I'm very in tune with my body so you know I do a lot of dry work and I'm constantly thinking about my mechanical stuff um, just like when I'm not playing going through dry drills and going through like dowel drills or whatever doing stuff to refine my mechanics and keep them healthy so um, I feel like I got a pretty good understanding of what I'm doing with my body. I was super excited. I was kind of shocked. I didn't even, I knew that I was getting traded, but I didn't know what team it was to. Um, so I was actually getting congratulatory texts before I knew who I'd been traded to. Um, but once I found out it was the Cardinals, my first immediate thought was Nolan plays for the Cardinals. So I was going to obviously get to link up with him again, um, which was super exciting. And then just the history surrounding the organization um, made me super excited to get out here and then I got to go to the winter warm-up in the Fan Fest and go visit a couple of the stops along the way on the caravan and meet a bunch of the fans and they're all super nice they gave me a super warm welcome so it's uh, it's been an easy transition so far. Are you living with no one in Jupiter? I will be yeah when once he gets down here. Yeah how many will be in the place? Uh, me Gorman and then Luke and Baker. Yeah and when you guys were in high school even though you're on opposing teams were you texting a lot and friends, or it was a little bit of a distance? Um, during season, it was a little bit tougher just because both of our schedules were so busy um, on a day-to-day -day basis. But outside of the season, we were with each other almost every single weekend. Um, so then during season, we'd call or text or Snapchat or whatever. Um, but we hung out a ton, and we always did everything together. So it's been a really nice to have him as a friend, and obviously, me, me being traded to this team and now being able to link up with them again is kind of a dream come true. And career-wise, in game situations, what is he against you, roughly? Uh, over, I think. He's never gotten a hit? I don't know. I can't remember because it goes all the way back to like seventh and eighth grade in middle school. Um, so I don't remember every at-bat, but for the most part, yeah. <laughs> That's quite a few at-bats, too. Yeah, we faced each other decent amount of times. Do you ever bring this up to him? No. <laughs> we, we don't really talk about it too much. So how close are you? Um, obviously at your age and with this veteran staff, you're not counted on being in the major leagues right now. Yeah. How close do you think you are? Um, I think that's really out of my hands. Um, kind of the uncontrollables, I guess you could say. Um, you know, obviously I'd like to think I'm closer I have a you know a good shot of making it within the next couple seasons um, but you know, I'm just trying to go about the day-to-day -day stuff and take care of what I can control and go out and perform to the best of my abilities every time I touch a baseball. And describe your stuff what do you throw? Uh, four seam, two seam, um, two seam finally started working for me this offseason I'm getting some nice sync to it and good run um, and then slider curveball and change up. Um, I used to be just fastball curveball change up and I realized I wasn't getting a lot of swing and misses on the curveball because it was so big. Um, so I've started using that as more of like a freeze pitch or a early in the count pitch. And then I started throwing the slider senior year of high school as uh, an off-speed pitch that was a little shorter and later, had a little better bite to it, and I could get some swing and misses on it later in the count. So you've gotten rid of the curveball? No, I, I throw both so now. So all four? All yeah, four. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. And then a final thought, what um, pitcher in Major League Baseball do you look at and you think, you know what, maybe I could be him or someone in the past? Um, I think two of the guys that I've tried to emulate a lot in my career so far are Aroldis Chapman and Max Scherzer. Um, mechanically, there are some similarities. I'm not too close to either of them specifically. 
um, but just the intensity and passion and enthusiasm that they bring um, and their mountain presence and that kind of ambiance that they have when they're walking around out there, um, I really try and emulate that in my game and use it to help me get guys out.